welcome to Realm TV and welcome back to my MLB 18 franchise with the New York Mets. Um, this is episode 11. So if you guys are caught up, look for the playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to basically be told whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of the video, click the thumbs up button. Leave in the comments below. Uh, it basically tells me that you want to see more videos just like this. And um, here we are for this May 4th game. I'm trying to catch up here because... I was gone for a while, I wasn't able to do a video, um, but here we are with Jacob DeGrom going to go for a 6 win of the season. He is amazing right now with a 2.06 ERA against German Marquez. Uh, we're going to be playing in City Field. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get rid of a few players so I can call people up or maybe even move Jay Bruce to first base and then um, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of uh, Adrian Gonzalez, um, unfortunately David Wright and who else am I trying to cycle out of there? Um, who are they trying to trade? Also, AJ Ramos. I'm not really a fan of him. Um, but we're going to be moving some people here. We're going to pull Jose Reyes. Start over Cabrera right now. He needs to rest. Um, Todd Frazier is also going to rest. We're going to have Dave Wright start. Um, let's see the lineups here. Let's just do some shuffling. I actually think this is a good lineup. All right, so I'll see you guys in City Field. All right, here we are. So we have Jacob DeGrom going on the mound, who's going for his sixth win uh, in six starts. Or rather, this is a seventh start. Um, and he's going to try to just shut down these Rockies. One and two to Charlie Blackman, a dangerous hitter. That is a changeup, freezing him, and he doesn't believe it. One, two to Nolan. Ooh, that's a swing and miss on a curveball. Inning over. That is back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom. All right, this going to be a base hit for Ahmed Rosario to start the first inning. That is a good start. That's kind of like the salt and shaker thing they got. That's going to drive uh, Rosario home. That he's too fast. Jose rounding second. That's going to be a stand-up triple for Jose Reyes to start the first inning. No outs. Look at that. They're doing the salt and shaker thing, kind of. He just hung that ball in there, and Jose knew he had to go. That's some good hitting by Jose Reyes. Filling in for Zubo Cabrera, who's taking a day off. And that is out of here. Michael Conforto, no doubter. It is going to be 3-0 Mets, and he just hit the bridge. Oh, my gosh. That was a bomb. Not a lot of people can hit that bridge. That must be one of the farthest home runs hit I've seen in City Field in real life or in a video game. Let's take it on a replay. Come on. Show me that replay, boy. Boom. No freaking doubter. Oh my gosh, what a bomb. Oh, Jay Bruce also hitting a home run. And it's out of here. Hugging the right, uh, right field line. And it's going to be 4-0 Mets here in the first inning. And did Colorado bring in their, their high-altitude atmosphere here? Because the ball is just flying off the bat. Ah. Uh, just missed the home run. Oh, that's actually out of here. That is a solo shot by Travis Darno. That's the third home run already in the game. I thought it was a foul ball. Wow. That is crazy. It is already a blowout here for Jacob DeGrom and the Mets.
That's going to be a deeply hit ball by Conforto. This is going to drive in. Uh, the runner at third. Moving Rosario to third base. It is now a 6 nothing game for the Mets. Well, count to Nolan Arenado. It's going to be double play ball. From third to second to first. That is an around the horn double play for the Mets. One and two to Trevor Story. Swing and a miss. Inning over. Full count. That froze him. That froze Paro with that fastball on the outside. One and two. Oh, that is crushed. That's going to be a solo home run for the Rockies. This is going to be a 6-1 to one game here in the 6th. That is a fly ball by Darno. That's going to be off the wall. And Wright is going to score. And Gonzalez is going to be on third. That is an RBI double for Travis Darno. I thought it was just a, a, a measy pop up, but he is hitting the cover of the ball today, man. Almost a home run. That's going to be a base hit by Ligaris. Two runs are going to be waved home. And he is safe. So that is a two-run single by Juan Ligaris, who came in as a pinch hitter for Jacob deGrom. What a game. Ligaris running. And he is safe at second base. That's a stolen base for Juan Ligaris. I believe that's his third of the year. Just like that, it's going to be another run driven in. Lagarus is being waved home. That's going to be an RBI single for Ahmed Rosario. It's going to be 10 to 1 Mets here in the sixth. And that's a base hit by Ioannis. And it's going to be 11 to 1 Mets. RBI single for Yo. That is another home run by Jay Bruce without a doubt. That is the upper deck shot. It is 13 to 1 Mets. What is going on here? The pitching for Colorado is horrible today. And the ball is just jumping off the bat. And this pop up should do it. Ball game over, blowout complete. And the Mets win 14 to 2 due to a handful of home runs. Man, this is slaughter. It was over before you even know it. They dropped seven runs in the sixth inning. Michael Conforto with four home runs, two uh, four RBIs, two home runs. Jay Bruce with three RBIs with two home runs. Travis Darno batting three for four, just missing a cycle by a triple. Mendozario also batting two for four. Jacob DeGrom going for his sixth win. He's now six and zero. Oh. Alrighty. So we got Michael Conforto's player of the game. As I said, Jacob DeGrom with that win. We're going to advance to the next day. Alrighty. Zach Wheeler. Uh. Got injured too, what the heck? Alright, so... Let's see on this rotation here. Let's take a look at the rotation, all these damn injuries I'm getting. Rotation. 
Alright, I guess this is how it's gonna work out. Okay, so this game is going to be simulated, or maybe even a critical situation. Uh, it's going to be Chad Bettis versus Steven Matz. Um, each going for their third win of the season, so let's sim it. And we ended up winning, wow, we ended up winning 4-3 to three, uh, with Estrubal Carrera being the player of the game. Let's take a look at the box score. And let's see here, for the Metsies. We got Jose Reyes and Cabrera hitting home runs as Lagarde driving in a run too. Stolen base by Gonzalez. That almost does not make sense. Um, but that is Steven Matz's third win of the season, giving up three runs with six strikeouts through, eight, uh, through five innings pitched. We got Seawall, Blevins, Ramos all hold uh, all holding the game, and then Familia came in for his 11th save of the season. All right, so we have won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games in a row. We're gonna go for a tenth with Jake Arrieta on the mound against Antonio since Senzatella, who's two and three. We're gonna go for a fourth win. I think we are now in. Wow, we're still a half game behind the Phillies. Um, let's take a look at the injuries here. Disabled list. Senegard. It's still one to six, one to six days. We is also one to six days. Uh, Harvey, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna move him to the 60 day DL. Yeah, I'm gonna put him on the 10 day DL again. Um, but we gotta, they're doing pretty well right now. Um, and let's advance to the next day. Did I advance to the next day yet? Very good. All right, Noah's no longer uh, injured. Place him on the bench. And Harvey is still injured. Put him in the 10 day DL again. So let's fix the pitching rotation here. Uh, just someone, get out of here, man. You know, it's in the guard spot. And we're gonna, as I said, we're going to have Jake Arrieta play this game. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my franchise in the New York Mets. Please click that like button if you liked what you saw. Leave it in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. And peace.